Hello, my name is David Carson. I live in Florence. I will share my ID with the police officer if that needs to be validated. Okay, I'm here today once again to talk about Brian Murphy. I hear he has been promoted to director of the Art and Museums Department. I will revisit a little about Murphy for people watching who are not in the know. Brian Murphy is a far left transplant from New York that has been installed in our local government. In 2020, he was director of a local Black Lives Matter group called Project Say Something. That summer, under his direction, Project Say Something orchestrated large and very loud rallies around the courthouse area pushing for the local statue honoring our Confederate dead to be torn down. During that time, the group Brian Murphy was directing would march up and down Court Street screaming through bull bullhorns about how evil white people are to patrons just trying to enjoy their meals in local restaurants. When local citizens decided to speak up, speak out against them, they would try to get many of us fired from our job, jobs for opposing them. During my involvement in opposing them, I was threatened physically multiple times. This was face to face, not just online, like some of the Black Lives Matter activists cry about. At one point, Brian Murphy decided to try to impersonate me in public in an attempt to make me look bad. I have video and screenshots to prove all of this. You all know this. You can't play dumb because for over two years I have gave, given many speeches and done public demonstrations getting the word out about the situation to the public. Yet through all of this, Brian Murphy has always had the full support of the mayor and this council. This council voted to pursue tearing down our monument for our Confederate dead. It was the county commission who stopped you. This council voted to keep Brian Murphy four more years as head of the Historic Preservation Committee. It is sad for a committee dedicated to preserving our history to be run by someone who went all out to tear down a local monument. Now Brian Murphy is being promoted as director over the entire Arts and Museums Department and not one public co comment from any of you was said against that. So today I'm here to state that through your actions and inactions, all of you are obvious supporters of Brian Murphy. You clearly condone and support his views for things to get this far. You will no longer have the luxury of sitting on the fence on this one. Everything he has done and will do is now attached to all of you. It is only a matter of time before another political windstorm like the summer of 2020 happens again. When that happens, Brian Murphy will be even more entrenched and there's no telling what he'll try to pull in this city. Me and others will make sure to drive this point home from now and throughout the next election cycle. I've given up on this council to do the right thing. If none of you have the will to correct this situation, it's time for you to be replaced by people who will. There's all sorts of nepotism and other corruption that goes on here regularly. I focus on this Brian Murphy situation because it's so blatant, well documented, and non-refutable. Do you even know what state this is? This is Alabama. None of these things this Murphy situation represents are popular with most of the, that live here. It's not hard for me to find people who are against this. I think things have gone this far by a simple lack of public awareness. I and a growing number of like minds will now ramp up our efforts to make sure the public knows what they are buying into if they vote for any of you the next election cycle. You will probably have no comment on this as usual, but ignoring this will not make it go away. It will not make me go away. I'm sure you have noticed I'm not one to forget or give up. It's disappointing things have gotten to this point, but I will continue to do whatever I can to correct it. Be it now or later, every single one of you is going to have to face up to this.